There was a day that I became wealthy. I'll tell you the day, I know that day I was rich. I was broke, I was pissed, I was angry at everybody else but who? Myself. I had a friend that had, I loaned money to when I had barely enough and I knew he needed it and I gave him $1,200 and I'm here not able to eat. I'm down to like $25, $26 and I'm saying to him, calling him and he's not returning my call and I just need some money and he's ignoring me. I didn't ignore him then, so I'm pissed, I'm frustrated. In the midst of all this, I'm also pragmatic. I got 25 and change, call it $26. What the hell am I gonna do? I don't have any plans for economics. I got overhead that's crazy. I'm living in this little tiny apartment, 400 square feet in Venice, California. So I thought, okay, when I was totally broke early on when I was 17, I used to save my money up and go to the smorgasbord and load up for Christmas, you know, load up for the week. So I didn't drive there because I wasn't going to spend the gas to get there. Plus I needed the walk. So I walked there and I go in, I'm not dressed really great, but it's Marina Del Rey, it's okay. And I got a place right by the window and I can see these yachts going by and I'm dreaming of what life could be like and I'm starting to le let go of my anger and I'm starting to start focus on what I want instead of what I don't want. How many followers say I? And that shifted me just a bit and now I'm eating which shifted me a lot. And I got this giant plate stacked up and I don't know what the amount was, it was like whatever it was, $6.95, $7.95, right? So I'm gonna do this, I could probably do this three or four times, right? Somewhere in that range. As I'm finishing my meal, this little boy comes in, dressed in a little suit. And I honestly don't know how old he'd be, probably in the third grade, so maybe eight years old, nine years old, something like that. And he opened the door for his mother, and he came over and he pulled out the seat for her, and she sat down. And I was, she was a pretty lady, but as pretty as she was, I was totally obsessed by this boy. He was just, he had presence at seven or eight years old. And it moved me. I don't know why, it just, it moved me. And I thought, this kid is like pure. He's, I want him to always be this way. He's such a good kid, he's a giver. So I got up and I paid for the meal. And whatever it was, six, seven bucks. So now I've got whatever left, 17, 18, 19 dollars. And I walk up to this little boy and I said, excuse me. And I said, I just want to acknowledge you for being such an extraordinary gentleman. I said, I saw the way you treated your lady, how you opened the door, how you pulled the chair out. I said, that's class. I said, my name's Tony, what's yours? I don't honestly remember his name, Charlie or something. And he looked up at me and I said, Charlie, I said, that's amazing taking your date out for a lunch like this. He goes, well, actually, she's my mom. And I said, that's even more cool. And, I, and he said, oh, but I, I'm not taking a lunch because I'm just, I think he said he was eight. I said, oh, yes, you are. I had no plan for this. I just reached in my pocket, I took all the money I had left, 17, 18, 19 dollars, and I put it on the table. I said, you're taking her to lunch. He looked up at me and he goes, I can't take that. I said, sure you can. He said, why? Because I'm bigger than you are. And he smiled real big, and I didn't even look at his mom. I just turned and walked away. And I didn't walk out of that door flew home. I should have been freaking out. How the f am I going to eat? But I didn't. I flew because something inside of me had finally got past scarcity. I finally realized there's something inside of us more than our limits. Especially around this thing called money that I had let terrorize me. And I got home, and the mailman came that day, and I had no idea how I was gonna have my next meal. And a letter comes. 
and it's from the guy I loaned the money to. It's a handwritten note saying, I've been avoiding you. It's wrong. I'm so sorry. You were there when I needed you. Here's what I owe you plus a little bit more. And the 1200 was there plus another 100 for the time that I had to take care of it. And for me, $1,300, that was enough to like run my show for a month or two. And I cried. And then I decided, what does this mean? And I thought, this means that whenever you give, it's always going to come back so you don't have to ever think about that again. Just f give. And the rewards will be greater than you can ever imagine. I don't know if that's coincidence, but I decided to believe that day was a blessing when I became rich. And I can tell you honestly, I've had tough days in my life, economically, emotionally, like all of us. But I've never gone back to that scarcity. I never will. The secret to living is giving. Do it when you don't have it, and I promise you, scarcity will leave your life.